So this is my e-bike by Yosei Power. It's quite a common conversion kit on the internet. So I bought it from eBay. But what makes this one different is the batteries. So I didn't buy one of the battery. I'm using all my power two batteries here. So there's six five amp hour or 5.5 amp hour battery. Those are 18 volt Makita type battery. The voltage cutout on the controller from Yosei Power is 31 volt. I think it's too low for even two of these in series. Potentially, this controller will drain the battery until the lithium battery can recover, which is not a good thing. As you can see, I didn't pedal even once. So it's showing uh, 15 miles an hour. This is kind of the legal limit, but it can go up to 30. So this size the wiring, I haven't tidied it up yet, but eventually I think they will be covered. And for the display, nothing fancy here. BMS is showing voltage. So this is 39.5 volt, as long as it doesn't drop. Actually, I need to find out what's the lowest voltage. That's the controller inside the bag. So this controller is very popular in the DIY conversion forums. I'm just copying what others have done. The only difference is I'm using power tools batteries. Um, this is the maximum I can fit in this little triangle area here. I can actually have more if I want to, maybe on the platform here, but I don't know, depends on what, what range this one can give me. I, I need to do a video and test it out. So once I've done that, I will show you guys as well. So that will be part two of this video. Not my uh, usual video to say uh, cheapest bike available because I do want a good quality bike. At the end, I got one which gave me a bit of a problem because the crank is not the usual standard. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Can't wait to see you next time with more issues and gadget. Bye bye.